I think initially, <clears throat> the first things first, when, when news comes out, you've got to uh, understand that it takes a few minutes for, for the trades to play out. So don't be eager to be the first one shorting. <clears throat> Convenient trade today is short side. But I believe that we need to align with the long side. Anybody that is in, you should be paid by this high that Zeke had talked about. You know, if you've read any of the texts we've had or if you've seen any of the videos, I talked about I wanted to see this stall. If this was really going to go short, I wanted to see it stall by the 35s best. And if we got through that, then the next area would be the 42s. And I said, Zeke wanted to, to have it stall by this 48.75 uh, high, or else he thinks that uh, potentially uh, we could still get a new high before the end of the year. So you have to respect this high, and you have to start to cover up some profits in here. So we've said early morning, this 52 48 to 52, we're going to use as our resistance zone. But the goal of the boys is to get up into that blue circle before they're done. They want to put pressure back here on the, on the 58 zone, 59 zone. So for now, all we know is that the overnight low is in control. We also know from yesterday's dialogue And this 32, I, I said 32 is support, till broken. That's not been broken. So that is our support until broken. So next, we've got to go to today's idea. And we need to look at this double down here that held and say that's support till broken. I suggested pre-market in the room that potentially the upside targets we know are going to try to get up here to knock out these stops and into this fast down move. So the only thing that will change my mind about these targets is if we take out the overnight low. If that goes, then okay. Shorts have defended the double top. Other than that, I think the game is on and the boys are trying to squeeze higher today. If this goes, then then obviously anything can happen, including challenge th this low down here. And that's why you can be so far off in your predictions because it's an either or usually. And we don't know until hindsight. So for now, we have to consider that this this platform right in here, right, right where we took out, remember yesterday's high? We said the next target's 42 to 45, right? So, so this breakout right here, yesterday's high area, 41, this area is supportive for now. And, and pullbacks into the, to this range this will be very important if we get back that far today. Anybody that is shorting, you're thinking a contra against the day's range. We're not thinking a contra against this swing yet. Right now, all we're thinking about is a contra against the day's range. We'll get that set up. And if we get a rabid dog day today, which we could, then we will hit this blue circle and perhaps even higher. So the real key will be what do the generals do during IB? And if you are a conservative trader, you'll be careful. You don't need to prove anything. This has been a gap up. And, and levitation to challenge these highs to knock stops. That's all I know. 
when, whenever you see the pressure up and you know where your last high is, think that that is going to make, make at least a tick higher than that high. And, and that's why these targets came in today at 49 to 52 pre-market. And use that for the resistance. Make sure you're paid. Now, <clears throat> Evan, type your answer. I've already posed the question about these targets. You're welcome to type your answer and let me know. And if you don't like chasing, chase trades, don't play. You know, bots chase. They have no problem. All right, let's look at a few other charts. <clears throat> 